Hello, Jeff Foster, Web Biz Ideas. This tutorial is on SEO research. In particular, learning how to search better in Google to find what you really want uh, as someone doing internet marketing research. And so what we're going to go over in this video is we're going to learn how to use Google's search operator terms that were meant for this advanced searching. Now, there's many search operator terms, uh, and on our website we have lists of more, but in this tutorial I'm going to go over, I would say, the biggest, the, the one that's going to be most useful to you, uh, especially as business owners, uh, it's the easiest to use. And it's a, it's a term called in title. So then I'm going to go over different variations of this, and at the end I'll give you tips on other ones to use. But what is in title? Well, if we would do a normal search for Pest Control Miami, of course our normal search results are going to come up with the local results. But there's three million results, and so if we're doing competitive research or any type of research on the subject, that's, that's just too many to, to go through. So we want to start narrowing down our results and finding web pages that really relate to our topic. And, in, and to do that, we can use in title. So all you do is put the word in title, and then the 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 colon there and and then you can add your keyword in quotes pest control miami um, and that was going to say i'm looking for this phrase pest control miami in web pages page title and so now it goes down to 31000 so so what is a page title well this is a page title uh, this is a page title this is a page title uh, what google does is if you go to any web page and you look at the source they pull uh, the code that's called title or page title or meta page title uh, from the website and they put it in their search results. So for this one it's called Pest Control Miami. There's our keyword, uh, Residential Commercial Pest Control and Exterminator. And if we go back to those results, it's right here. Pest Control Miami, Residential and Commercial Pest Control and, and then it cuts off after a little bit. So so that's page title. So just think of a newspaper article like a headline, right? That the headline or the title of a newspaper article describes what the article's about. Webmasters and internet marketers, they put a page title to tell Google what that page is about. And so that's what you're you're crawling, that's what you're searching when you do the in title. And if you're doing research, this is really invaluable because now you're narrowing down your results to really what the webmaster, the the internet marketer is saying that page is about, which gets very very specific. So let me show you some, I guess, real life examples of how to use this. Now as an internet marketer and doing research, a lot of times you're looking for quality websites to do online public relations or to, to get links from. And so for example, let's say you're selling ties and you want to find fashion magazines so you can get your ties listed in you know, the magazine as an editorial or perhaps a link maybe in their blog online. Um, just searching for fashion magazines is going to give you way too many results. So now we can find and narrow this down to just pages that dedicate you know, that entire page to fashion magazines. Now in title fashion magazines without quotes gives us 39 million results. So that's way too many. So now we, we definitely want to put quotes around that word. So now we're looking for just that phrase and that goes to 300,000. So this will give us a start. We can start looking through some of these websites and it's going to give us really different types of fashion magazines. But again, 300,000 is too much. So the first variation I want to talk about that's going to really help save time and help you find valuable resources is going to be the word list or list of. Um, so now what we're going to, I mean, just imagine a newspaper headline that says list of fashion magazines. Well, what's that page or that article going to be about? Well, obviously, it's going to give you lists of fashion magazines. And that's exactly what we find here. Now we, we narrowed it down to 2,000 pages, and all these pages are about their lists of fashion magazines. So if we're looking to reach out to fashion magazines, well, why do that research ourselves when companies like Wikipedia have all these lists? So in title and using the variation list of are going to give you those results very, very fast. And now if you're doing online public relations, which we have a tutorial on, you can start copying and pasting these lists. Uh, and now you're building a database of, of magazines to reach out to. So the first variation list of. Um, but sometimes it gets too specific. Again, if you, you're selling ties and you say, I don't want just any fashion magazines, but I want men's fashion magazines, well, a list of fashion magazines for men is, is very narrow. There's only five results. And although those five results are exactly what you need, eventually you're going to say, well, I want a little more. 
So to find a little more and still have it very specific, you can still put in title, but, but just put, for example, in title, list of fashion magazines. And then in brackets, put another keyword, like men's. So what this says, I'm looking for the word list of fashion magazines in the page title, and that's what we find, right? There it is, there it is, right, there it is. But we're also looking for the word men's. We're looking for that word men somewhere on that, that, that page. And so we can see there it is, there it is, there it is, and so forth. So now that, that narrows it down to 206, which is up from five. So that's gonna give us more web pages to be able to find what we're looking for. So use in title, use the variation of, of the word lists uh, to really help what, to find what you're looking for. And you don't just have to use the word list to do this. Uh, on our website, uh, in, our, in our PowerPoint, we have uh, some other variations you could use. Uh, but below those variations, you could also replace the word list Right, with perhaps maybe directory or best, recommended, popular, top 10, top 100, uh, maybe even blog, news. Uh, and, and you're going to have to play around with these words. But using these different variations, again, is going to find more web pages uh, about that topic because not everyone's going to put the word list. You know, A lot of times people put top 10, top 100. Um, and so that's going to be another great way to find just more resources. And it's going to save you time because these companies have already done it for you. So moving on uh, to the last variation, uh, it's going to be a variation of everything we talked about, but you're going to start adding pluses and minuses to the keywords. So let me show you an example of that. Um, so let's say we don't want to find blogs. You know, we're looking for really quality magazines of men's fashion magazines. So, and we want to eliminate all these other blogs that keep coming up that are just not what we're looking for. Well, you can put a minus right next to that keyword and so now you're looking for okay men's fashion magazines in the title I'm looking for a list somewhere on the page but I'm also wanting to eliminate any time that's mentioned blog on that page and so putting the minus will eliminate that keyword and obviously you can do it the opposite way right plus a keyword so start using pluses and, and negatives to again find what you're looking for or if you're getting frustrated um, maybe you keep finding Wikipedia show up right you maybe you can put a minus you know for the Wikipedia or minus cite this and it says anytime basically uh, Wikipedia any page on that site is there I'm gonna eliminate that and now it's never gonna show you Wikipedia so use this to start narrowing down your results um, and to really tweak what you're looking for to find you know, those, those exact resources. So again, the variation of, of in title with the word list, but then with pluses and min minuses are also gonna help you find what you're looking for. And that's, that's really what I wanna show you for search operator terms. Now again, there's there's many, and so we have many listed on our, our web page and our PowerPoint, and um, so take a look at them. But real briefly, I want to just discuss a few. Number one, the, the in URL. So in URL is exactly what it says, right? The URL of a web page, right? Our company website is Web Biz Ideas, so we're looking for and we're going to search for a keyword in our URL. So we perhaps might search for web, something like that, right? So we can do the same thing in URL men's fashion magazines. So now, right, we're only looking for pages that have that keyword in the URL, which of course the page is going to be about that if the URL says that. So again, in URL might be another way to find even better and more targeted results. Uh, other uh, keywords that you can use are you, you can search for a site. Uh, uh, site.org uh, and I, I would say that the best way to probably do this is just to go to this tutorial on our page and kind of look through this and, and kind of play around I have descriptions and the application for it and it's gonna you know this is basically saying hey I'm looking for web pages that only are dot org and those are really quality uh, sites usually so again you can get as specific as that when you're searching so I don't have time to go through all this look at our web page it's described in our PowerPoint um, and, and I, we have links to all these as well that goes to the a description um, of each of them. So click on these links and it's going to describe all these uh, in more detail. So please go to our website if you have questions. Otherwise, start using Intitled to do your SEO research.